For the following exercises, use the function f represented in the table below. Here's f. The first question, it says to evaluate f of 3. So what we want to do is we really want to take this terminology, evaluate f of 3, and kind of reinterpret it. All right. So whenever you see the term evaluate f of something, all right, in this case they gave us 3, I want you to interpret it in the following way down here. All right. Evaluate f of 3 as find the value of y when x is equal to 3. Now how does that even... Where does the y come from? Well, that's because I gave you a little hint here. All right, think of f of x as y. It's totally fine if you do in terms of solving the problem. Technically, it's not true. But if you think of uh, f of x as being y, this will make a little more sense since you're usually used to working uh, with x and y's. All right, so just think of this f of x as a y. And basically, what they're asking us here is to find the y value when x is 3. So all you have to do is now go to the particular table, right, that you're given, find where x is 3, here it is, and then give the y value. And what does the y value, what is the y value or the f of x value at 3? Well, it looks like 53 to me, right? So that rhymed. So 53, that's the answer. Easy peasy. All right. Now the second question, it says to solve f of x uh, when it equals 1. So in terms of this case, really what they're asking us is to solve for the x value when f of x is equal to 1. So that's how I want you to reinterpret it. So at the bottom here, that's exactly what I've written down. Okay. So this, when it says solve f of x equal to 1, it really means solve for the value of x when y, because remember f of x is y, uh, when y is equal to 1. All right. So now what you have to do is you just have to find where f of x is 1. So we're going to go to the table. Let's highlight that now. Well, here it is. And then give the corresponding x value. So what would that be? Looks like a 2 to me. So the answer is 2. Easy peasy. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.